Hello, welcome to the Tartan Topiary. I'm Mary, and I'd like to invite you into my library. Please come in and relax as we look at this week's book, Artful Home, written by Josh Young. Josh Young began his love affair with the arts as a young boy. In the book, he recalls curating his childhood bedroom so that it felt like an escape or an experience. And for Christmas, his only request was for art supplies. Several years after completing his studies in design, in Milan, Italy, with many interesting twists and turns in between, Josh Young's talent propelled his works to the forefront of design. He appeared in Architectural Digest, El Decor, The Wall Street Journal, and The Washington Post, among many others. Josh has collaborated with brands such as William Sonoma Home, Joe Malone London, Visual Comfort, and Pharaoh and Ball. He currently lives in Washington, D.C. and Virginia. Josh has built a strong following, both for his fine art and his beautiful homes. In this, his first book, he welcomes readers into his world, answering their most asked questions, such as, how do I create a uniquely beautiful home? And how to be creative within the walls of your own home? These artfully inspired questions bring me to introduce my sponsor. I'd like to take this opportunity to thank Craftsy for kindly sponsoring this video. Craftsy is an online community where members can find endless inspiration for crafts and discover new hobbies for craft enthusiasts. They offer over 2,000 classes. Some of my favorites include cake decorating, painting, jewelry making, gardening, and baking. You can find classes for all skill levels. Last month, I completed a course called Celebrate with Cookies, 19 Favorite Designs, with instructor Ann Yorks. Right now, I'm watching how to use custom mediums in mixed media and acrylic painting with artist, author, and instructor Rennie Talkett. This class has answered so many questions I've had and cleared up many of the mistakes that I've made in the past. With step-by-step -step instruction by very talented and often award-winning instructors, you can learn directly from the experts. Members can find everything they need, including live streaming tutorials. You can connect with fellow makers, ask questions, share ideas, and stay inspired. The first 1,000 people to use my link will get a full year of premium membership to Craftsy for only $1.49. This is a phenomenal bargain. Members will get unlimited access to qualified instructors. They will inspire and encourage you. Take classes in the comfort of your own home and on your own schedule. I will leave more information in the pinned comment and in the description below. Now back to artist Josh Young. Artful Home is arranged by five guiding principles that Young lives by. They are palette, texture, form, layers, and nostalgia. Whether creating a painting, designing a room, 
styling a vignette, or entertaining family and friends, these elements are essential to his work. The book shares with readers how Josh conceptualizes his decorating while detailing his philosophy and overall creative approach, both as an artist and a designer, and how they too can lean on these concepts to curate their very own beautiful environments. Josh writes in the book, I grew up behind an auction house. My parents were collectors. Antiques and other items with a tangible sense of history and craftsmanship filled our home. I developed a deep love for both the art of the hunt and the pieces themselves. Their structure, form, subtle imperfections were a testament to time and use. Everything in our home tells a story. I always enjoy reading personal anecdotes and biographical information that authors share, but this book was especially touching to me. I enjoyed the beautiful photography and equally the beautiful story of how Josh, as a teenager from a town in North Carolina, followed his passion for art and design. He is very candid about the ups and downs of this journey and how staying true to oneself often clears the path for success. Artful Home by Josh Young. This book has 256 pages. It is published by Rizzoli and it retails for Malachite has become a very popular accessory in decor and fashion. This green gemstone has captivated the hearts of gem enthusiasts and artists for centuries. With its rich emerald hues and banded patterns, Malachite is a true beauty and masterpiece of nature. These items tend to be very expensive. Today, I thought I would try to recreate a malachite picture frame and tray. I found these on the Williams Sonoma website, and these are my very simple recreations. What you will need for this project is a paintbrush, green paint, malachite wrapping paper or wallpaper. This wrapping paper I found at Caspari, Scotch 77 adhesive spray, a gloss varnish, which is optional, but it will add a layer of protection for the paper. A simple wooden tray, an X-Acto knife, and a picture frame. All of these items, except the wrapping paper, I found at my local craft store. We'll begin with the tray by simply painting the edge of the tray with the green paint. Thank you. 
Now I'll put this aside to dry and we'll begin the picture frame. I'm placing the frame on this part of the paper because I like the color variation here. I'm going to cut so that there is enough paper to cover the frame as well as its edges. I'll remove the glass so that I can spray the frame with the 77 adhesive spray. It's best to do this outdoors. This is a relatively easy product to use. Just spray the two sides that you want to adhere to one another. I love this adhesive spray. It's very forgiving. If you don't get the two pieces that you want to adhere to one another aligned correctly, you can gently pull it up and try again without causing any damage. I'm just gently placing the paper on top of the frame and pressing firmly. I'll fold the paper over so that it covers the side of the frame as well. This is rather simple. It's very much like wrapping a gift. For the next step, I'll be using an X-Acto knife, so I'll place a cutting board on the table. My cat Bobby has decided that she wants to watch. I'll be very cautious as I use this. These blades can be very sharp, but that's what makes them so useful. The objective here is to carefully make a neat and clean cut around the opening and the edges of the frame. This paper has a very nice sheen to it, but I love a glossy finish. To achieve this, I'll be applying a simple water-based varnish. This wrapping paper can also be found on Amazon. This is the varnish that I used. I just happen to have this left over from a past project. There are so many different brands available. Just choose one that you like.
we'll put the frame aside to dry and finish our tray. For the tray, I've cut a piece of paper that fits inside of the base, and I'll use my X-Acto knife to cut along the edges so that it fits perfectly within this space. If your cutting is not as precise as you would like, that's okay, because the green paint will camouflage any small mistakes. Now we'll use the Scotch 77 adhesive spray. I'm just going to spray the back of the paper and the bottom of the tray. I'm simply aligning the paper and pressing firmly. Sometimes it's easier to use a paper towel and smooth it down to press out any air bubbles. This tear in the paper can be easily covered with a small dot of the green paint. I'll now apply the varnish using the same technique I did for the frame. After I applied the varnish, it only took about an hour to dry. And here is the completed project. I was very happy with the result. Thanks for watching, and I hope you will join me next week as we look at Blenheim. 300 Years of Life in a Palace, written by Lady Henrietta Spencer Churchill.